In this video, I'm going to be talking all about Google Ads keyword match types, specifically for this year, 2023, because if you've been running Google Ads or AdWords uh, for some time, you know that there's been a lot of updates to the meaning of specific keyword match types and removal of specific match types over the years. Um, so I'm going to be speaking to keyword match types uh, for this year specifically, um, who knows what it's going to change to in the future and the meanings of the specific match types, but I'm going to go ahead and dive in and share what keyword match types are and what different options you have and what I recommend. Um, so I already have a blog here, uh, that I'll go ahead and drop in the description below for you to check out as a resource. And you can always refer back to it. If you have any questions on what your keywords would match up to, um, within the search terms report, um, then, uh, it's definitely something that you can check out. Now, keyword match types are match types that you as an advertiser would set up that allows you to pretty much have the ability to loosen up the meaning of a specific keyword or ha or make it as tight as possible. Uh, what I will say is maybe the best way to explain it is it's almost like when you're using a hose and you're trying to keep the nozzle as like tight as possible so that you can aim in the right place as you're watering the grass. If you don't have the right setting, it could spray everywhere. Um, and then you can start tightening it up so that you have more control over where the water is spraying. So that's probably the best way that I could explain it in the layman's terms. Um, but with keyword match types, you as an advertiser, you get to choose the keywords that you bid on, but beyond the keywords, you can choose match types. So you can choose how these keywords are being matched to a search term, which is what a end user that would be typing into Google to trigger your ads. Um, so I'll go ahead and take you through the different match types here within Google ads. Um, so within the different keyword match types, it just allows you to have greater control over your campaign. So if you have a more broad keyword match type, it's going to allow you to capture more traffic. Uh, but the downside is you're going to be spending more money probably in irrelevant places. Um, but that's okay if you have a big budget, um, and you're testing, but if you have a more limited budget, you want to go a little bit more restrictive with the different match types. So I'm going to share a little bit more about the different match types. So there's three different match types as of filming this video in 2023, and I'm going to start with broad match. This is actually a lot of people's least favorite match type. This is Google's favorite match type, but for a lot of PPC advertisers, this tends to be more of the least favorite because it is a match type that can show your ads to the widest audience possible um, with the keyword that you've provided. So I'm gonna show you an example here. So let's say that you have the broad keyword match type bankruptcy lawyer. And by the way, broad keyword match types don't have any uh, special characters or quotations or anything around it. So if you leave it without any special characters like this and you just type it in just like this within Google, it's going to just recognize it as a broad match keyword. Um, but essentially what will do is it will take this keyword that you give it and will match it to keywords that are similar um, or yeah, synonymous or uh, per se. So let's say that you apply broad match to let's say bankruptcy lawyer. This is just an example keyword. You could be eligible for search queries like bankruptcy law books, pro bono bankruptcy attorney, student loan lawyers, credit lawyer. Okay, so as you can see, and if you are a bankruptcy attorney and you're watching this, uh, you're probably shaking your head because you don't you know how expensive bankruptcy lawyer keywords are, but bankruptcy law books, you don't want to appear for that because we're not you're not a you're you're not a bookstore selling books. You are trying to attract end clients that want to pay you a retainer for your services to help them with bankruptcy. So therefore, bankruptcy books won't be a good fit. Pro bono bankruptcy attorney, unless you're okay with doing free work, this is not a good keyword to go after. Um, student loan lawyers, um, uh, it could be, it could be not. Um, so you're kind of letting Google decide, right? Like Google's saying that this is synonymous. 
Student loan lawyers, it could be someone looking to get rid of student loans. Uh, bankruptcy lawyers might be able to help with that. So maybe yes, creditor, lawyer. Um, this is where it's tricky too because Google thinks that it understands uh, what a bankruptcy lawyer is and it's saying that a bankruptcy lawyer is the same as a creditor lawyer, but that's not necessarily the case. If you work in this industry, you know that a bankruptcy attorney and a creditor lawyer typically working on opposite ends. Um, so it's not necessarily, if it's credit card lawyer, it could be bankruptcy, but creditor lawyer, not so much. So as you can see, Google's deciding what the definition of a bankruptcy lawyer is, and it's matching you to a lot of irrelevant terms. So if you're going to go this route, the pro is that you could reach a wider audience. Like I said, it's like spraying with a, without a very tight nozzle. You can spray everywhere and then just hope you're going to grab something from it um, and hope that it will land somewhere. Or you can tighten things up and get more focused on the keywords that you really want to um, hone in on with the specific match type. So if you're going to use broad match, um, which is the match type that Google's really trying to push forward um, and really trying to get, and I'm sure if you get these Google reps calling you, they're all telling you to put everything in broad match. Um, this is really what they're trying to push. Their agenda is getting you to spend more, um, but then they're also matching you to junk as you can see here. Um, so if you're gonna go this route, um, it would be maybe because you have a really big budget and you wanna test what type of keywords actually do work for you and then start whittling it down um, once you see what's working and what's not. Um, and then if you're going to go this route, make sure you have a good negative keyword list. I'll go ahead and drop a link in the description below for how to create a, ne a negative keywords, what they are, and also um, how to go ahead and set that up. Um, so the next match type is a little bit more restrictive than uh, broad match, and it's called phrase match. It's like the next step above being like completely broad. Um, so it is tightening up that nozzle a little bit. Um, so phrase match, it is a match type using quotation marks. And when you put these on your keywords, when you set up your ads, they can, um, they can essentially match to exact phrase, synonyms, plurals, or similar variants of a specific keyword. So I'm gonna show you an example here. If we're doing bankruptcy lawyer in phrase match with the quotes, it could match you to bankruptcy lawyer near me, bankruptcy attorney in LA, Los Angeles, the best bankruptcy lawyer, bankruptcy law best practices. So it's taking the, the root of this and it's basically um, giving you an option to, um, it's basically giving you the option to expand your keyword list a little bit more um, uh, and it will take synonyms and plurals. So bankruptcy lawyer, um, is also a lawyer is, is synonymous with attorney. So that's why it's matching you here. Um, so as you can see, um, back then phrase match actually used to be just taking this phrase and it has to be in this exact order, but now it's loosened up so that it will take this phrase, but it will look for synonyms, plurals, or similar variants of it, and then match you up to keywords that align with that. Um, so hopefully that makes a little bit more sense in terms of getting you to appear for more restrictive um, searches that align with your, um, your brand and what you're looking for. But this match type allows you to be more specific and filter out some of those extremely irrelevant terms that broad match can trigger. Um, and it will also catch queries that you may not have actually thought of, but your ideal customer or client uses. With this match type, you still do need a negative keyword list, I'd say, but probably not as intense as a broad match keyword uh, list if you were just to go all that route. Next, let's talk about exact match um, because the meaning of exact match has changed so much over the years. Exact match is uh, denoted with these little brackets around it. And essentially it is the most restrictive match type of them all, um, of the three. Um, and when Google originally started their platform, exact match keyword types would only show up exactly for that match term, but now it's changed. 
Um, so before, if you put bankruptcy lawyer, you would only show up for any time someone types in bankruptcy lawyer. Uh, but now exact match has expanded the meaning beyond just that exact word. And it's going for similar intent, misspellings, and plurals as well. So as you can see in this uh, chart here, lawyers for bankruptcy, bankruptcy lawyer, bankruptcy lawyers, similar intent, misspelling, and then plural. So back then, you would have to think of all the different potential misspellings of your key your exact match keywords in order to appear for them but now google's made it a lot easier so that you don't have to think of all the different potential misspellings that people could be typing in so it's taking that into account as it's trying to match you to specific search terms that people are triggering um so that's pretty much it for the three different match types um in terms of my recommendations I typically go for phrase and exact match to start out. Um, there's very, very few instances that I would use broad match, but I did share it's if you have a big budget or you're just trying to test out, you know, what keywords you have a lot of room to test out what keywords are going to work for you and then start whittling it down. That could be another approach as well. But if you're on a more tight shoestring budget, stick with <clears throat> phrase match and exact match. Um, if you want to do exact match only that's also an option but the challenge with exact match only is you're not really going to get a lot of new ideas to expand on your campaign in the search terms report um and then also note exact match again is not truly exact um and sometimes i've even seen for phrase match it will match you to it will match you to sometimes competitors even though it's not even the competitor's name isn't even in here so that's a little bit concerning, but as you can tell and what I've shared so far, Google's really loosened up the way that they, uh, the way that they have uh, set up their match types. Um, and it's only going to keep changing and continuing, continue to loosen up as time goes. So hopefully this was helpful for you to understand the different keyword match types and what you should be considering for your business. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below and I'd be happy to answer them. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to this channel. I post videos every week on Google Ads and I'll see you guys in the next one.